Hi everyone, Lenny Moore here. Today I want to talk about a Pro Tools playlist issue that I ran across. And it's just an idiosyncratic thing within the operating software. Again, version 2020.3.0 is the version I'm using. Here's the issue. When you have multiple takes and you're trying to make sure that they're grouped together within the same instrument. So like a drum kit is a cl classic thing if you've got multiple takes. In this case, I just have one take from the drum, but I have uh, several takes from uh, the upright bass player. Uh, the issue that I ran across is this one. Uh, I set up a group. So I've got these two tracks. I've got a microphone on the bass and then a DI, which is like a pickup. Um, that's attached to the bass. So I've got those two signals and I have two different takes. Um, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the first part, which is I, I loaded in my two takes and then I set up a group where I just made a group out of, of those two tracks, right? And so if I've got my group selected and I want to flip between my takes, um, so if I'm up on my microphone, notice that there is this top one that says mic mono, and that's sort of like my comp track. And then mic one is take one, mic O2 is take two, right? So right now I'm on take one, right? And notice that I've got mic one and my, my DI O1. So take ones of both, right? So now I'm just gonna pick mic two. Okay, now that looks okay. Right? It shows the mic from take two and the DI from take two. What if I go to my master? Okay, that shows okay. But now what I want to show you is I've got a fourth track in here <laughs> on my DI, but I only have three tracks. I don't know how, you know, like I think for anybody that's, you know, since I'm sort of a newer user to this software, you know, these kinds of mistakes will happen. So what I'm reason I'm bringing this up is not like, hey, take a look at the mistake I made. It's like, it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of folks, if they're using uh, something like Pro Tools, uh, run into this issue. And I have not seen, when I saw it at first, I have not seen anything on how to correct it. The idea is I want to be able to link the takes, like take one, for both of these inputs together, right? And it took me a while to figure it out. And I haven't found any sources on the web to kind of explain why it's doing what it's doing. So I'm purely speculating as to why it's doing what it's doing. Yeah, so, so far, everything's cool. If I'm running everything off of the top one from the mic, it's showing everything. So I'm just using take two in my my comp thing, right? But now if I go to the bass and I pick the top one, what the heck is that, right? So basically there's four takes on the, the DI and there's nothing set up, you know, here. And now it's added this other thing, right? And now it's created this empty thing. So things got really weird and confusing, right? So instead of trying to fix that mess, <laughs> which I don't recommend. Um, I figured out a way to kind of make this work. And the key is to do things in a particular order. So here's, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna open up my little playlist. So, so just so you know, if I click on my DI, so I've got, these are the mono mic inputs. I've got mic one, mic take one, mic take two, DI take one, DI take two, right? First thing I want to point out is notice this is, you can sort these any way you want, but these are in alphabetical order, right? Uh, so now here's the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to start with the group. I'm just going to get rid of that one group right there. So I'd hit delete. It's a not undoable. Oh my God. All right. Yeah. Bye. All right. Next. I am going to get rid of these two tracks. <laughs> so I'm just going to select them, right click, delete. So now that's gone. 
there's still some bass tracks on here, but like these are stereo bass tracks. Um, so I'm just, I had to group them separately because you can't necessarily group the mono and the stereo together as far as I know. It doesn't matter. That's not what's important here. All right, so now I'm going to create some new tracks. So the order that you do things, create new and you think through how many tracks you need. So if you were setting up for drums, or in this case, it's two inputs from a bass, it could be guitar, whatever it is, right? I want two mono tracks, right? And then I'm just going to name them uh, DTA um, bass mono, right? And then I'm going to create those, right? And it names them one and two, right? So before I start renaming the microphone DI, because I, I liked having the mic on top and the DI below, uh, because these are alphabetical, I'm not going to do that, right? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab DI1 and mic01 from take one, right? Grab those, and then I'm going to drag those, right? to those. So notice I got DI and mic, right? And now I'm going to name them. So I'm going to name the top one and I'm going to go like this. 0.01 is the system I'm going to use for take one. 0.02 would be take two, right? So there's that. That's set up. Next, mic mono. 0.01. That's take one. So now I'm going to make the group. So just remember the order, right? And now I'm just going to, um, on the PC, it's Control G. It's probably Command G on a Mac, right, to make a group. And then I'm going to go DT, A base, mono, right? And I'm making this a mix edit type. All right, so there it is. So it's selected, it's on. And now I can um, right click here on this little arrow to create a new playlist, right? And it names it 02. And then I can go over here, grab the DIO2 and the mic 02, right? And then I'm going to drag those over. And now I can flip between take one and take two, and everything is linked and working perfectly right and let's say I want to add a comp track so I add a comp track it's numbering at 03 uh, I'm gonna rename it I'm gonna call it um, comp and I'll do the same here and let's say I like take two to be in the comp right um, I don't have to redrag it from here all I need to do is I'm gonna look at my view mode here We're under track view. So I'm right clicking on that little drop down there and say playlist. So now it's showing me my playlist, right? And then all I need to do is select, take two, right click, copy to target playlist, which is my third playlist, right? And now that's all done. And now, so if I select take one in the list, it puts take one as my target, right? If I go take two, there's take two. And if I go to my comp, it's showing me my take two. And then I can go back to my track view, change it to waveform, right? And then it'll just show me whatever I'm pointing to, right? So take two take one and my comp and now everything's working if you do things in those steps so you create your multiple tracks and then you keep in mind that alphabetical thing so let's say I want to go back just to point out I'm going to unselect the groups so I can independently grab what I want so this is the microphone and this is the DI and I like having the microphone above the DI so I can just drag it and change positions at this point Right. And then it and then once I've reselected that mono acoustic bass group, you know, then I can pick, you know, take one and everything still works fine. Go to the comp. Right. 
So everything works beautifully. So to recap, create however many new tracks you need all in one shot. Drag in the multiple takes at the same time. And then you can create the group after that. And then create new playlist item and drag in the next take. New playlist item, drag in the next take. Or a new playlist item that's going to be a comp. And then copy from the other playlist uh, what you want to have in the comp. Right, and then everything will be linked. The, you know, like as you noticed, you know, this these two different inputs, one's a mic, one's a DI, I can name them separately. The naming doesn't matter. It's the order in how you do things that make it function correctly. And it this was like a weird thing. I just couldn't figure out why is it acting weird? And it was partially because I wasn't doing it in the way that Pro Tools likes to see it. And sometimes with software, you know, like, people who design the software they mean well and i think they're trying to create something cool but sometimes the way they think is like the brilliant way to be able to do something it ends up not being 100 percent bulletproof so uh even for an experienced user of software like i am uh or for any of you guys it's a problem uh, at times where all of a sudden you you crash a you know a program or or something just starts acting in a very weird way and you can't figure out what it is so what i'm hoping is that these little videos that i'm doing are helpful for these problems that people have tried to find answers for and had trouble finding answers for them all right so with that thanks so much for checking it out and subscribe to my channel. There'll be more content coming down the pike. Take care.